is a classic story. This is a classic story by the author of the Hulur. Kino lives on the far one side of a mountain in Japan. His friend Jia lives in a beautiful, pissing, peaceful fishing village. Everyone, including Kino and Jia, has heard of the terrible, destructive big wave. No one suspects that it will entirely wipe everything of the whole village and including Jia's family. As Jia struggles to overcome his to overcome his overpowering sorrow, he understands his presence of danger. That one learns to be brave and to appreciate. How wonderful and sweet life is. It was a peaceful day, and Kino was in the sacred deer island. The deers, the only sacred deers, lived in Deer Island. It was said that those sacred deer had lucky charms. The wave was moving and moving. Shaking all over. Oh no. Oh, this is he said. Oh no. He thought. It was just an earthquake. An earthquake can't hurt anybody. An earthquake isn't so destructive. But little did he know when they were on Sacred Deer Island and just went back home, Kino and Gia saw. The clouds were purple. See, blackish, like pitch black, darker than the darkest night. The skies, however, were like heaven, brighter than the brightest night, brighter than the brightest thing on earth. He thought, oh yeah, oh, oh it's all oh, really sleepy. Kino said, I really want to sleep again, but today I have a really important job, he said to Gia. Gia said, alright sure, just go ahead, it's okay, uh, I also need to go and fish over there with my father, because some fishermen have just tracked a group of, a school of fish, uh, he said, but suddenly, the bell went. Ding, tong, ding, tong, ding, tong. Whoa, he said. What is this bell for? Kino asked his father. It is to signal for everybody to go to Old Gentleman's castle, he said. Old Gentleman was a rich man. He had everything you could imagine. Soft carpets, tall walls. Taller than the tallest tsunami. He had always seen he had seen this before, and this had happened. He had seen four big waves come in his age. So I mean five big waves because he had been so old. He had seen it over and over again, and he knew the dangers of it. Suddenly the red flag went up. A red flag waving ferociously in the ba in the air to signal everybody quick calm down now suddenly the bell was going tongue louder than ever bang 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 oh no what were they going to do this was bad enough Look, the bell was so pleading, deep, voicing so loud. Suddenly, the tsunami came. Little did they know, underneath the cracks, the steam had been too much, and the water god had been angry, very, very angry at this angry at these people. 
He decided to heave. Scientifically, this was what happened. The steam went off, and the pressure was suddenly released. Because it was too great from the volcano. Suddenly, geezers shot up in the air. Poof! Like the fastest bullet. Faster than the fastest bullet that you could ever see. I thought, oh no, this is not good. He said, this is not something that we would ever want. So what did they do? Suddenly, Gia was going up the hill because the fisherman didn't want to leave the boats. The mothers didn't want to leave the the, their fathers, and the children didn't want to leave their mothers. It was just a half walk. Suddenly, when Gia was climbing up the steps, slowly by slowly, trying not to cry, is it her father? Had, his father had said, "You must become a good Japanese son and serve me. You must go up to that mountain, and you must save. I want to take care of my boats. This might be a false alarm, but most of all, I want you to be safe," he said. What were they going to do? Here over here, his father had said, You are going to be safe if you go there. Suddenly, as I said, the pressure was too much. The ocean could not hold. It burst out in the form of a tsunami. A wave, ten meters high. Shut up! Like you see over here. Quickly, in just a snap of a finger, everything disappeared. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. The fishing village disappeared. Everything disappeared at all. Suddenly, Gia, for too much, it was too much for Gia to see. She had lost her village and her family. She suddenly slumped down and became unconscious. Kino felt her, him slip down and tried to hold him, but it was too much for him too. He cried and cried and cried. Chia wanted to try and warn his father, but Kino's father held him tight and said, No, you must not go. You must save your life. Days and days, they had cooked good food for Chia. Chia only wanted to eat and sleep, but his father had said, Life is stronger than death. Once he has recovered, he shall become normal and normal. Right now, he's still recovering. He still does not know what to do. He's confused. It had been too much for him to see. But slowly, he will accept the fact. Oh, gentlemen, the rich man over there, because he had a custom of going around and searching for the widows and children and adopting the children as his children, the orphans as his children, he went around and said, Does Gia live here? I have heard that Gia is a handsome little lamb, very strong too. His Kino's father had said, Yes, Gia's here. What do you want, please, sir, old gentleman? He's sleeping. Please do not disturb him. Old gentleman came in and was shocked of how handsome Gia was. He said, It is my custom to go and search for all orphans. Gia woke up immediately and said, No, I do not want to become your son. He said, Old gentleman said, Why? Gia replied, Family is more important than money. You are rich, but I have a family. Loving and comforting. Starting from today, everybody, let us remember to put family over money. Thanks for watching. I recommend this book is for ages 8 to 12. Please subscribe, like, and press notification bell to get updated to the latest and videos. Thanks for watching.